Finding the right niche for your next website can feel a little bit like looking for one in a million. And if you have no idea or few topics that interest you, it can be hard to differentiate the good ideas from the bad. I'd always advocate choosing a niche that you've got an interest in, but imagine if you could find a niche that was already tried and tested, and imagine if you could find out that that niche is capable of making money before you invest your time and money. Well, today I present to you your very own time machine. We don't have the budget for that. Oh, well in that case, how about Flipper? No, not the cute dolphin movie starring Paul Hogan and a young Elijah Wood. I'm talking about the domain auction website Flipper, where you can literally find hundreds, maybe thousands of different websites up for sale. Now the method I'm going to show you today is the exact method that I used to find my last two niches and one of those niches is something I literally never would have thought of. Hey there affiliate schoolers, I'm going to be working quickly through this tutorial, we'll be finding some niches and at the end of the video I'm going to show you a 10 minute search condensed into 30 seconds where I challenge myself to find five different niches and I'll be revealing all. So let's dig in. The first thing you'll need to do is to head over to flipper.com and open an account which is free to do and you can literally just browse through the site. However, I like to use some search parameters to break it down and find exactly what I'm looking for. So we'll start off by choosing our search parameters. So we'll go to websites, we'll go to content and we can choose blog or review here. I'll choose blog and then what we want to do is we want to add the review type sites to the search results and we can see here there are 820 results that show up. Now I typically want to look for websites that are making money already so I will choose a monthly profit of $25 minimum and now we can see we've got 246 results and then it's literally a case of scrolling through them and what I'm typically looking for are websites that are monetized through affiliate but we could also take monetization through ads or AdSense too. Now this is an interesting one here, the Air Hockey Table Reviews. We can see it's a five-year-old site earning $500 per month. This is where the real value is to using Flipper because, because people are trying to sell these sites, they give you all of the information that you would need. So you can literally see where they make their money from, you can see how that revenue has changed over time, you can see their Google Analytics, so you can see how much traffic you can expect to get within this niche. You can even look at some of their engagement stats if they give you that. Now what you do want to do when you're doing this is you want to make sure that the niche that you're looking at is generating traffic through organic search. You can see the, the countries that they're targeting or where, where most of their traffic comes in from. And it even gives you some SEMrush data in there too. Because they've given us this domain name, which is airhockeytablereviews.com, we can even go in and take a look at the site itself. We can look at how much content they have. Now, the easy way to do that, or at least to see how much content is indexed, is just to run a site colon search. There's 108 pages. So they're making about $500 a month based on around 100 pages of content. Now before I carry on, if you're getting value from this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button because it just lets me know that you like this sort of content and I can create more of it. And this guy loves it too. And then what we can do is we can throw it into a tool such as Ahrefs. And typically what we're looking for here are, are sites that are fairly low DR. We can see here it's getting, a, well we already know the traffic stats, but we, we get even more of an idea here in terms of the keywords that they rank for. So we can click into this and we can see which pages they have set up that rank for various keywords. We can see the search volumes. And if this was a niche that appealed to you, you could literally just reverse engineer it. Of course, you could go in and buy this website and you might decide that that's a, a worthwhile investment. But if not, and you just want to use this tool for niche research, it's a really good tool to use. Now, of course, if you wanted to find niches that were more lucrative, then you can change the monthly profit. Let's say we change the monthly profit to 500 upwards. 
and we can still see there are 122 results here and we can go through and do that research. Now what I would typically tend to do is to just open up a spreadsheet, make a note of all of the sites that I find in the niches that I find them and if I find one that I like I will literally do what I showed you then which is to just reverse engineer those keywords and start to generate a content plan based on that. So now for the fun part I'm going to challenge myself to find as many niches as I possibly can in 10 minutes. But to make this a bit better for you, let's see if we can speed things up. Barry, have we got enough juice in the meter to speed up the time machine? Yes, Jason. Brilliant, let's go. Okay, I was looking to find five niches. I actually found seven. One of them might be a little bit dubious. In fact, I can't believe I spent my last 30 seconds looking at a website about polar bears, but this is what I found. So we had airhockeytablereviews.com. Yes, I did steal that one that I'd already done. So that's air hockey. We had reclining chairs, hammocks, chainsaws, vegan lifestyle, trampolining, and then the polar bear website. And the beauty of this is that we can take these and we can look at exactly what these sites are ranking for. So if I just show you this trampolining one as an example. So we've got truetrampoline.com. It's only a DR9 website. It's only really had a great deal of work done to it probably since August 2020. So about 18 months or so. And it's making and it's generating a couple of thousand hits per month. You can see the website does not look particularly great. And it only has 39 results in the Google index. If we go back to this website, they're saying they're making $258 per month. Let's just have a quick look at what it says. 18 info articles, 27,000 words of content, 11 product review articles, 40,000 words. So you're literally seeing here what you would need to do. And you could literally just look at this, go through their keywords and create similar content for the keywords that you can see here and then obviously you can take it further. So there you have it, nothing too complex there, all pretty simple stuff but really useful for generating niche ideas. Now when you are ready to create your niche site make sure you watch this video where I talk through my top on-page SEO tips to make sure you're getting maximum Google love. Thanks for watching guys and good luck with your search.